doctors are having to resort to extreme steps like taking their own lives because of the kind of pressure they're facing and one case in point is of the recent uh, death of a doctor in Rajasthan, Dr. Archana Sharma, who died by suicide because of the threat that she was facing. She was uh, upset about murder charges being pressed against her and FIR being lodged because the patient that she was treating died of a complication which is fairly common in pregnant women. Just to take us through in short the problems that doctors have been facing and what could have been done better to avoid the situation that Dr. Sharma found herself in. Yeah, exactly. The doctors uh, are working day and night uh, for the care of the patient. It, you must have seen during the COVID times also that three in three last three waves of the COVID, doctors have given their lives also in treating the patients. But still, it, it's it's uh, I fail to understand why the people don't understand that doctors are not God. Our doctors are day by every day we are, we doctors are being beaten by by the mobs or anyone. They 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 don't even understand that if the doctors die, then who are going to treat them? Medical negligence as per can't be established by investigating the doctor uh, through the regular way. There is a proper format for that and a case can't be exactly. registered against a doctor. So to begin with the FIR was, uh, was wrong, isn't it? Police cannot decide that, that it's a medical negligence. A proper committee could have been formed, then the inquiry could have happened. It was in 2010 uh, where Supreme Court has clearly mentioned that uh, a criminal negligence can only be established after the inquiry. And if medical negligence is established by the State Medical Council, then they also, the punishment is also decided by the State Medical Council first. Mm -hmm. If the patient is not doing well, if hospital admissions are not possible, the doctors and the medical staff are literally beaten up. Uh, while there is a sense of frustration, desperation, anger, hatred against the system, but uh, we've seen many cases where, but violence A is not justified and we've seen doctors appeal to the government saying that bring about a law to protect doctors. Laws are already there almost uh, in every state and uh, by the centre also. But the problem is of implementation. Mm. In this case, clearly there is a law. But the, f the flaw lies in the implementation part. The law enforcement agencies, the police, the, uh, uh, the other systems, they do not follow the law. The important part is that. As a consequence of the death of Dr. Archana Sharma, the Indian Medical Association on Friday wrote a letter to Prime Minister Narendra Modi to make the existing law on violence against doctors more stringent. The letter read, as such, it is earnestly requested that your kind self may kindly intervene and direct the appropriate ministry to invoke incorporation of the guidelines brought out by the Honorable Supreme Court in Jacob Matthews v. Union of India case through a required legislative modality in the governing law, including criminal procedure code to provide the required insulation to the medical profession. The Indian Medical Association held a candle march and is going to demand justice for Dr. Archana and changes in the Indian Penal Code to decriminalize the medical profession. Dr. Archana's husband also took to social media and demanded justice for his wife. My name is Dr. Sunit Upadhyay. I am a psychiatrist. Too. My wife, Dr. Archana Sharma, MBBS MD, gynecologist, cold medal. <laughs> Nikal suicide kar liya. Aise jo aise jo or DSP hai, jo 302 ka mamla dajj karte hain, inko barkhas kiya jana chahiye. Tabhi meri patni ko nyaay milega, nahi to ye nyaay adhoora hi rahega. By and large, this issue has got to do with the threats doctors are facing, and here it was a threat that Dr. Archana Sharma perceived uh, in terms of embarrassment, humiliation, pressing murder charges. She obviously was stressed, and she of course unfortunately died by suicide for more informative videos like this keep watching india today news mode